Our instructions for Work Together 6-1 read, use of the worksheet given, your instructor will guide you through the following example. On February 28th of the current year, Golden Tan has the following general ledger accounts and balances. The business uses a monthly fiscal period. That is important. It tells us in the directions that it's a monthly fiscal period. So we have a series of accounts listed there, and I'm going down, then I'm reading the direction right here. It says, prepare the heading and trial balance on a worksheet. Total and rule the trial balance columns. So the first thing I have to do is on the very top of my worksheet, I have three blank lines. And all financial statements will have three blank lines on the top. The very first line is going to be the name of the business, and the name of our business is Golden Tan. Then it's going to be the name of a document, and we are creating a worksheet. And then it's going to be the date. And our worksheets are going to be created for a fiscal period, so it's always going to say for blank ended, and this is going to be for month ended. And we know that because it says in our directions that we're doing it for a monthly fiscal period, and we're doing it on February 28th. So it's going to say, read, for month ended February 28th, 2000 dash dash. Then I'm going to go through and plug in my account. My first account is going to be cash, and cash has a balance of 9800 Then I'm going to do petty. Cash for 150. Accounts receivable Ruby price is going to be 2,795. Supplies 456. Prepaid insurance 750. Accounts payable. Richard Navarro, $555. Gary Baldwin, Capital, for $14,885. And then you're going to have Gary Baldwin Drawing, $3,400. Income Summary, I will have nothing. Sales as a credit for $4,320. Advertising expense, debit of 931. Insurance expense, nothing. Miscellaneous expense, 378. Supplies expense, nothing. And utilities expense. And then utilities expense is 1100. All right, so you go through and add up your debits and credits. What did you get for your trial balance for your debit on your work, work together, not the on your own? I know some of you already moved on to the on your own. What would you get? Now, this is what I don't want you to do. I don't want you just to take, oh, this is the number I got from debit, and then just go there without actually adding it up. Because it, even though in accounting I know that you're going to be like, oh, it won't mark it wrong. Let me tell you, if you don't have the right numbers up here, the rest of this will not work out. It all relates on these numbers being done correctly. And if you have these numbers in incorrect, all of the other numbers, your net income and in your balance sheet and your adjustments are all going to be off. So take the time to make sure that you add them up correctly. I always go through and add it up at least twice to make sure that I have the correct numbers. Okay, I see some of you are working on the on your own. That is great. Please finish that up. I'll have your assignment turned on in just a moment. <laughs> 